friends! Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Yvonne and you are on a Ginger Chick Rehab where I love to look for secondhand finds not only to resell but also to make over here on the channel. So in today's video, this is kind of a collaboration of Goodwill finds along with um, a local antique mall that they are downsizing and going out of business and just kind of dispersing into just doing booth rentals. So they're not completely out of it, they're just closing their main store. So we were lucky enough to go in and get some goodies. Along with that, then we kind of popped in and out of a couple other local antique mall or antique stores to see what they had and what treasures could be found. And I found, oh, the holy grail of what I always am looking for. If I see it out in the wild, even an antique store is considered out in the wild, y'all. Um, I am going to pick it up, so I can't wait to share that goodie with you. So I thought I'd start off first with just a little bit of Goodwill haul until I got into the antique haul goodies. And you would think that this was purchased at an antique store. Look at these amazing goodies. Now, come on now, look at this. My first find, I thought, you know, the weird, quirky, <laughs> okay, Jesus under a rounded glass. I just thought it was very unique. And I was all like, oh, you know, I like him. I'm going to pick him up. But then there was two matching angels. Hello, this screams mid-century modern. It just has an amazing vibe. Um, there's a little Val's Arts and Crafts. So it has some dried flowers with it, which I think are amazing. We got some rocks at the bottom, just some amazing pieces. Um, I just love those vintage vibes. And then this, oh, look at these, the set of 10, set of 10 jute mats for $5.29. So whether I'm gonna keep them for ourselves because I'd like a, our new table to have a place for 10 or I resell them, that is a good amount all grouped together. And then I thought these were fabulous coming up on the 4th of July. Um, I love the sticks. I love the primitive vibe they've got going on, how they are antique looking. I think they're awesome. And then here we got this for $6.29. Now, uh, the black caught my eye. That black kind of 90s is kind of coming back in. And then when I was looking to see if it had any chips and cracks, it's actually a Roseville pottery piece. So usually Roseville doesn't do very well lately. Um, but I think the black is very interesting. It had floral foam in it. And then I spied a black handled rolling pin. Oh, yes. Um, I, try, I try really hard not to pick up rolling pins because I have quite a hoard. But once they're painted and they're vintage, I will go ahead and pick them up. And then this was just a little crock. I look at this as a newer crock, so I look at this as a project piece. And then I thought these were cool. They are, I would say, tooth, toothpick holders, or you could use them as flower frogs. I think you could do, but sign pottery pieces, both of them. So I thought that was really unique. So like flower frog or toothpick holder, what do y'all think? But they are both signed by the artist. Now these are just that heavy Corian marble. Um, they're, they're newer, but I just thought these are nice pieces, whether I use them myself for a cutting board in our new house or not. I just, I, I did not pass them up. I uh, love this lady. Oh, look at this. This is old. This is older. It's got some waviness to it. There was, it was actually filled with um, wine corks. But I had a friend that was at the Goodwill and she does crafts with the people that she works with. So she wanted those. And I'm like, well, I'll buy the jar and I'll give you the wine corks and we're all good. <laughs> and then this little, I thought this, even though it's not terribly vintage, um, I thought it was cool when it was opened. If I can get it open. Um, it's just a little letterpress set. So I thought they were very, very neat. Um, sorry about my messy fingers, I've been painting. Imagine that. Um, yeah, so I just thought these were neat little letter presses. And then I thought, oh, this Road Runner, look at that. I, I'm thinking it's a Road Runner. Um, just a vintage mid-century modern tra tray. I love the little um, eyes. You can tell that it's inlaid. You can feel the inlay of it. It's just a very cool, 
decoration piece. I guess you could use it, but I would consider it decoration. So how about we get into the box of goodies? Sometimes when I have hauls, I collect them and then take them out of the bag and put them in this little box. So first off, let's see if I can get this beauty out. Um, we have this beautiful, we've got mushrooms, we've got a bird, we don't have any chips or cracks. Oh my gosh, hello beautiful. Um, I don't really know the maker, I don't know that it says China. Um, but I just think it's a cool mushrooms, birds, the whole, everything there, everything. Let's go back in here. And then we have a hand-carved ram. I thought that was a neat piece. This one was $5.29. I wish it was signed by the artist, but it wasn't. But a nice ram piece. Hey, maybe I can put them up here for you all to see. <laughs> because he needs to sit down. Look at this cute little piece. So this was just a little frog on a string. It just hangs from a tree or hangs. I thought he was super sweet. I like Corky. I like Corky. I bought and resold this cast iron piece a couple times. <laughs> just, um, and it actually, if I spray paint it black, it does better, y'all. Cast iron and black always usually will do better. I'll put it in as is, and if it sits for months, then I'll bring it home and spray paint it back. But I always do always give it the try. Then I thought this little resin piece was just funny. Look at that. Look at he's a frog pushing up a stone. <laughs> I just, sometimes it's just that quirkiness, you guys. It's just quirky. He's just a little China resin piece, but he is, he is just too, He'd be a nice conversation piece sitting on your bookshelf. There were these antlers, though it has a hanging system to hang on the wall. Um, they're resin though, but I just thought, I thought they were kind of neat. Um, I'm not really sure about the shiny gold color of them all, but we'll see how they do. Let's see if they had a hanging system on the back of them. So maybe a Hobby Lobby piece or something. But this was a cast iron, I've sold this one too, a cast iron bottle opener. This is perfect, just sell it as is. I don't know, does it still have it? Sometimes they lose their tag, so I'm not sure what I paid for it, but I did pick up. Cast iron usually does pretty well. These two, these two were beautiful. They have some age, but I think they're old. So now they're porcelain, they're like, you know, thin, but I just, I thought the age of these horse bookends were just beautiful. They're just absolutely beautiful. So yes, they do have a little bit of, here and there age on them but overall they're not cracked or chipped or anything like that like just the paint is wearing off of them but cool pieces wait this little sheep this little resin sheep look at that roly-poly guy um it was a three cent in a little bag for 229 so animals usually resell really well for me or i can use them in the little shadow boxes that I seem to be making lately. So I thought he was super sweet. Okay, so let's skim over what we got at the antique store clearance. So, um, yeah, so some of these are clearance, some of them were, but they were all minimal. So I love little animals. I love to put them in my vignettes. So I thought these were super cute. I try to look for vintage if I can. Um, that have a little bit more age to them, but they're still nice pieces because sometimes, you know, these plastic pieces you could paint over. Um, Chris spied this tray. I just made over one of these weight scale trays, and this one is beautiful. Yeah, $6.99. Um, just beautiful patina. He found some old tools. Um, when we were at the secondhand store that was going out of business, um, somebody was there trying to sell them some of their goods, and we actually bought a couple of these lamps. Though they don't look special right now, um, I thought I can make those over and look, made them look old. They're way too new right now, but I think that I could blacken them, patina them, age that wood, and just give them that old look that they deserve. Along with this horse, we bought this horse from them. I'm like, oh yes, I will buy a horse, thank you. I love that, and it's on a chain. So it hung off something. I thought that was cool. Randomly at two separate antique booths, I found two Big Ben clocks. They seem to both be working. Um, love Big, Big Ben. And then this was at the half-off store going out of business. So this was just a cute little mantle clock. 
Um, I got a set of swans to put in vignettes. Um, these were another antique booth. Look at these wooden shoes. I think they're more a reproduction, but I have a plan in some little boxes that I just thrifted that I could put those in. Along with these wooden primitive pieces, I don't know what they are, if they were stamps or what these pieces were up, but I love wood. I love carved detail. Yeah, they don't, they're just pieces of wood, but. And then I spied this little guy. I did actually pay full price for this, but a rusty crusty sifter that's tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> you know how we are. Tiny things are cute. <laughs> so I got that. And then this is an old waist, you know, workout, I guess, forever ago. I just love wood. I have a couple of these in my own collection. Um, this was from the one, I can insert the, fin <laughs> the footage of this. Yes, this is one of those antique stores. It has been an antique store house forever. It is a house. It is cram-packed. <laughs> And if you are willing to dig, you will be able to find at least something. But yes, this is how a tight it is. It goes all the way to the floor. Stuff's packed in front of packs. But for us that love to dig, it is just a treasure trove of goodies. This antique store has been here for years, but you have to be willing to go in and dig. You have to be able to dig because it is... It is packed, y'all. It is packed and it is not organized and it is stacked on top of each other. So if you're a picker, it's perfect for you. So then half off sale, I got this little print of mushrooms. Little, look at it's vintage. You can tell it's vintage. Um, just a cool mushroom piece. This little kid's slate chalkboard with the eraser with the eraser oh my gosh how sweet is that and then i did pick up this little dress form i'm gonna see if chris can we can bend this back to where it needs to be and there again we got a seltzer bottle <laughs> though this one somebody somehow they got that off. I don't even know how they got that off. I've tried to get the lids off seltzer bottles before, and I think they're one-time use. I'm not really sure. So let's skim, skim back down here. Half off store, there's this cast iron mushrooms. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I could not believe that. And then we'll go over here. Randomly, weirdly, so... The gentleman selling us the lights also sold us this little set that he had picked um so we picked up that and then we did pick up this one from the store that was going out of business because of the uniqueness i have never seen a, one of these like this just very unique and then chris found another one so how do we pick up three i don't even know if we've been selling them lately but um they're just cool they're cool whether you look at the cards or you just sell it for decor. They're just so stinking cool. So at the very crammed, very crammed um, antique store, um, I picked two to three dollars. I picked up these iron stone plates. Yes, four irons, five iron stone plates. And then at Debbie's store, the one that was going out of business, um, I picked up which is probably a letter holder. But look at how I've always kind of wanted something to hold plates up because my china hutches don't have plate racks in it. So they always fall down or I have to push something against it. And my plan was to sell it, but now I'm sorry, y'all. I think I like that. I like that. Don't worry. I'm selling you guys lots of ironstone lately anyway. Okay, so let's get to these. You see them. You see them, don't you? Yes, yeah, so I went to get my last check at the antique booth where I had my outdoor booth. I just could not, it was not in the same building. It was just too hard, y'all. And then I walked in and one of the ladies had two marmalade jars. And I'm like, I want those both. I want those. And she's like, both? And I'm like, yep, I do. You don't, I, we don't find these in the, this area at all. So I was so excited to find two of those. And then she had a set of three of these butter pats in there. So I bought those along with, I have bought these from her before. I bought things out of her booth before. Um, these, which are just register tags. I, I usually will keep these myself. Um, 
because I don't see, ever see these either. The antique, well, antique mall where you had to dig, I dug and found, I saw the butter pat. It was cracked. Look at the stone in there. Yes. Um, so she actually gave it to me for free, but I can turn it around and put it in my own collection. That's a thick guy. That is really thick. And then the same, I found a flower frog. I love the little small ones. And then I also found two square butter, butter pats, chunky. And yes, you see $2 price tag. So nice, nice, nice. And then 50% off store, a little bunny rabbit. Oh, I love to put animals. And then I did pick up these aged brushes. I like the old wood on them. I just think they're gorgeous. My, my brushes never come that clean. And then just a bunch of lavender for a dollar. An old block. You can never have enough old blocks, can you? Can you have enough old blocks? I don't know. I don't know. Squirrel. Squirrel. Bee. So we'll move those beauties. That I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still keeping those for myself. We'll have to see how I my whole my new house decorations go to see what I sell in my collection. I paid up for this piece because I have never seen an ironstone spoon rest holder. So I bought that for myself. And then I sold, oh my gosh, I had platters, ironstone platters from a couple hauls. And you guys all keep buying them. So I picked up another one, another beautiful ironstone. It's got the nice crazing on it. Just a beautiful piece. So I'll keep looking for iron, ironstone for you all. So thank you so much for watching today's thrift haul. What item did I find that was out in the wild was your favorite? And I know mine were the marmalade jars. You know, I thought that was a good price at $48 a piece. I don't know because you see them on Etsy and eBay and they're in the 90s, y'all. They're in the 90s and they're that white color that I kind of had been searching for to go with my ironstone in the new house. I have some other decor ideas that I want to share, but you'd have to check that out on the other channel, y'all. So let's just um, end this video. Thank you for sh um, thank you for watching. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. Thank you, you all who have been supporting us through purchasing of our eBay sales, our eBay auctions. You just have all been amazing. If you haven't checked out my eBay, eBay store, it's linked down in the description below. Again, thanks for watching today's video. We will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye.